Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? Today, guys, we're going to make a nice, delicious lasagna, okay? I have all my cheese in here shredded up. I think I have mozzarella. I have Monterey Jack. I have Mexican blend and mild cheddar. And it's all shred, shredded up in there. I want to add a can of basil, garlic, and oregano. I have prego sauce onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my lasagnas in, uh, in there, okay? Then we're gonna come over to this, it's uh, over two pounds of ground beef here, guys. I'm gonna be feeding everybody today, neighbors and all. So what we wanna do next is this. We wanna go in with some salt. A little pepper and after you do that guys get this back over there I cut up a little bit of onion if you want green peppers red peppers in your lasagna go right ahead and add it to your hamburger meat this is already drained it's 80 20 now okay let's do this first I'm going with the onion powder this is all to taste, guys. You're gonna have to taste this. Okay. And I have some oregano here. Okay. Salt and pepper. And now I'm gonna go in with that diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna go in with this ragu. Prego, guys. You can use ragu. Okay. We're gonna mix this up real well because we're gonna taste it. Okay. So, don't wanna keep you guys on that video too long. Let's mix this up. All right, guys, you see how that's looking? That's your lasagna mix. And you want it to be juicy because you gotta cook this in the oven on 400. I am going in with just a little bit of tomato paste. Can you guys see that? The squeeze one, it's really nice. It works out real well. I'm gonna cook that in there for about five minutes. And I'm gonna show you guys, for those of you who want to use ricotta, or cottage cheese, how my mother would do hers. So nobody would even know that that ricotta cheese was in there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let this simmer up for about five, six minutes and we'll build up our lasagna. I'm gonna be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. You see what that sauce is looking like? We're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna be spraying this up real good. I'm using a little avocado oil. And what I want to do next is this. I'm going to take this ricotta cheese. I have, I showed you the cheese in the beginning of the video. What I'm going to be putting in here. You don't have to use this. If you don't like it, don't use it. But I'm going to take mine and season it up with some Parmesan cheese. And I'm using this garlic and salt, of course, with parsley in it. I'm gonna shake some of that on there. And I'm gonna put onion powder and a little more garlic powder. And if you like, you can add oregano to it, okay? And what you wanna do with the next is just take it and mix it up real well. See that? So this is taking this ricotta cheese to another level. People even don't even know I have it in mind, but my mom used to do it like this, okay? And last but not least, if you don't want an egg, don't use it. Put an egg in there. Okay, mix it really well. And now we're about to build our lasagna, okay? I'm gonna mix this up really good. 
All right, guys, I'm back. Now look at this meat sauce that we have for our spaghetti, um, for our lasagna. What you want to do first is this. Let's go in and drop some of this to the bottom of your pan, okay? You want it just like that. And after you do that, you want to come in with some of your lasagna and lay them down in the pan. Okay. Just like this, guys. Just want to put them in. And then I want to go in with some ricotta cheese, okay? You just want to put it on there. If you don't want to use your ricotta, you don't have to, okay? You don't have to. Then I'm going to go back in with some more meat. Okay. How's that looking, guys? This is all your love going into this lasagna. Now we're going to go back in with some more of our lasagna. All right, guys. Cancel that. Let's go in with some of this cheese that we got shredded up over here. Okay. It's up to you how you layer your lasagna. Okay. Just make sure everything is leveled and out like that. Okay. Now, another layer of the lasagna. Some more cheese, guys. Some more cheese after that. I layer that other lasagna down. This is going to be really good with garlic bread today. Okay. Now we're back in there with our meat sauce. Okay. I'm gonna go right in on top of this with some more ricotta cheese, okay? So we're gonna put on top of here. All right, it's looking good. All right guys, because this is at the end of it, I wanted to get everything in there. And I'm gonna use the rest of this meat up on the top part of it okay and i'm going to go in put some more lasagna noodles and then i want to put cheese on the top all right guys then we're going to go in with the rest of our cheese okay this is a very meaty lasagna everybody's going to be full off of a block Okay, so we have all of our lasagna in there. Push this down. And what I'm gonna do next is this. I'm gonna get some Parmesan cheese. All right, I'm gonna just put a little bit across the top. And I'm gonna put a little parsley on it when it comes out of the oven. Okay. Get your aluminum foil. I hate this little foil. And you spray it, guys. Just you wanna spray this so that it doesn't stick to your cheese. 
We're just going to take it just like this and put it over it and seal it real tight. In 45 minutes on 400, but we're going to check it in 30, okay? And I'll be back after this come out of the oven. All right, guys, I'm back. Everything that I used in this lasagna will be in the description box. I'm gonna give you ingredients for one pound of ground beef because I use more than that. It's been sitting, guys, for about 10 minutes. Let's just go into it and cut it. We and take it like this. And then we're gonna take a block of this out. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at this. Look at that lasagna. Can y'all see that? That looks amazing. We're not gonna cheat our block. I'm gonna put it over here. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. Do exactly what I did. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment. And this is how I'm going to serve it with a salad and a piece of garlic bread, guys. That's how I'm going to serve it. Okay? All right, guys. We made it this far. Hope you go watch some of my videos. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel and come back. This is Lasagna 101, and it's absolutely amazing. Have a great day. Voila! Bye-bye.